Today we will be learning about continuous line drawings. A continuous line drawing sounds like a super fancy art term, but it really just means a drawing with just one line that is unbroken from beginning to end. In other words, you don't pick up your pencil at all or pen or crayon or whatever the whole time you're drawing. Your pencil or pen always stays on the paper. The most famous examples of continuous line drawings are the one line drawings made by Pablo Picasso. He is one of the most famous artists of all time from the country of Spain. He's considered to be the founder of an art movement called Cubism. For his continuous line drawings, he took realistic subjects and simplified them into one single unbroken line. These drawings can look relatively simple to make, but capturing the true essence of the shape in just one line can be very challenging. Look at his camel, for instance. It seems so simple, but it really captures the camel in just one line. Pablo Picasso was a true animal lover. At different times in his life, he had owls, several dogs, and even goats as pets. He did a series of continuous line drawings based on animals. Here is a flamingo and a dachshund. Picasso was fascinated by horses and included them in a number of his art pieces. Here is a continuous line drawing of a horse. And with just one simple line, he is really able to capture the beauty of this animal. And last, we have a penguin. It is unclear where Picasso's inspiration for this piece came from, but the penguin is a charming animal, as were many of the animals that Picasso chose to draw. Again, using just one very simple line, we are able to distinguish much about this animal's features. The beak, the eyes, the wings, the feathers, the feet, all from just one line. Pablo Picasso was not the only artist to use continuous line. Around the same time period that Picasso was creating his artwork, Alexander Calder, an American artist, was also creating continuous line pieces. His father was a sculptor and his mother was a painter, so Calder's artwork is kind of a combination of the two. In contrast to Picasso, Calder used wire to create his artwork. The wire is the continuous line. Using just one piece of wire, he was able to create very beautiful sculptures. This is a portrait of a woman using just one piece of wire or one line. We can tell that the woman has big eyes and lips, delicate features and curly hair, all from just one line. Calder also created very fun sculptures of animals. This one of a bird makes us think that the bird is about to catch a worm, hence the name early bird. He was a master at showing things in motion, even with just one line. He also loved animals and even created a miniature animated circus with these fun little sculptures. Here is one of them from the surface circus called Elephant. Whether we use pencil, markers, crayons, or wire to create our artwork, continuous line drawings are beautiful and simple, though not easy to do well. We will practice making some today. For our inspiration, we will be looking at animals that are native to West Virginia. I will show you some pictures of these animals and then later you can go back to the pictures for your drawing. First, we have the timber rattlesnake, one of the poisonous snakes here in West Virginia. And here is the brook trout. The brook trout is the state fish. There's also the white-tailed deer. We have the bobcat. 
there's the black bear, which is the state animal. And lastly, there is the state bird, which is the cardinal. Okay, let's learn how to make continuous line drawings using these animals for inspiration. Hey friends, Maria is gonna help with our continuous line drawings today. Hello. So we're super excited. We're gonna do um, some, they're really fast and really fun. They're not gonna take very long. So we're gonna do a few different kinds. Um, we're gonna start with some of our faces and then we'll move to the animals, um, the West Virginia animals. All right, we good? Yep, you ready? All right. All right, so what you need for today are um, a permanent marker and some paper. Now, you can just use small pieces of paper. That's what we're going to use. I'm using cardstock because the permanent marker doesn't go through as much with cardstock, but you really can use anything, any type of blank paper. The first thing we're gonna do is a continuous line drawing of each other's face. So if you have someone at home, a brother or a sister or a mom or a dad, ask them to come and do a little fun art exercise with you. What you're going to do is look at the person's face and again, a continuous line drawing. You cannot pick up your pencil, that's exactly right. Maria, uh. good job. So you're, or, or a marker. So we're going to think about the, we're just gonna use one line. We're not gonna pick up our marker at all. So we have to get as many details as we can so that it's it kind of looks like Do the I person you're drawing. Face so details on face. Yep. So we're gonna do eyes, nose, mouth, hair, face of our shape, and um, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna start with the eyes. I will do. Okay. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to pick up my oops. Yep. Start over. You can't pick up your pen at all, your marker at all. Okay, then I I'm going to come down and do the nose. Look at me, Maria. There you go. All right. I'm going to go back up. The nose line connects look, look. to the eyebrows, so I'm just going to do that. Because I'm over here on the side, I think I'm going to come around and do the down, do her chin. Um, back up to the other side, make that eyebrow. Now I'm going to go up, I think, and do the hair. She has it pulled back today. I'm going to come back down and I'm going to make her lips. See how I'm not picking up my pencil at all? And I really am trying hard not to trace over lines either. Did I an ear? I'm it's kind of low for an ear. I'm totally That's okay. over tracing lines. Totally okay. Her hair is going to be like Medusa. <laughs> that was the name of Alexander Calder's continuous line sculpture was Medusa. And it kind of looked just like that. <laughs> nice job. Okay. So the next thing Medusa. that we're going to do, that was our first one. The next one that we're going to do, this one is really fun. We're going to do the same thing, but this time you can't look at your paper. You have to look at the person the whole time. You cannot look down at your paper, all right? No. Okay, ready? Let's go. Uh. Oh. Uh. You just kind of have to guess. I can't do this. Uh. I didn't look. I was trying to hold the paper. It's gonna look hideous. Oh. <laughs> fun. That was super fun. I love how they turned out. It's really fun thing to do. You guys can do these ones. Um, are are just continuous line drawings without looking at your paper. So you're looking up the whole time. Okay. That was a fun little exercise. Now let's move to doing the animals, the West Virginia animals. 
So um, you can go back earlier in the video um, after we show you what to do and then you can pick which one you want to draw and go ahead and draw it. Press pause and then and then you can draw it. So Maria, you can look through here. Do you want to do the snake, the fish? Continuous line ones. I want to do the bobcat. The bobcat. Okay, so we're going to try the bobcat. I already did a few earlier. Um, they're very simple. There was the fish. Oh, that one. The bear. That was great. the bear. That oh, was okay. That one looks bird. exactly like a bird. <laughs> oh, you're super sweet. It does. The deer. How? And the snake. What the heck? <laughs> so again, super simple. Nothing fancy. Okay, so we're gonna do the bobcat. So again, we're just looking at the um, major. Let's scooch over this way a little bit. The major details, we're not doing any of the small, tiny details, um, just to capture the idea of the bobcat. To yours. I think they're both very interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. Go ahead and try it. It may take you a couple tries. I think they turned out great. Should we try one more? Sure. Have a snake? Let's do a snake. You need to do better on it, though. <laughs> well, okay. We're going to try the snake Yours looks time. great. Yours look great, but I couldn't see the head. What happened to the head? Look at oh, no. Okay. I like how a four antler head. All right, we're doing the snake. Let's see. Now, because it's a poisonous snake, it has more of a triangular head. This time I'm going to come around with the body up here. I think. Okay, I totally messed this up. Oh, wait, whoops. We're going to give it a tongue. I'd love for you guys to keep practicing. Do as many of them as you want to. They don't take that long, and they're super fun to do. You could even do some without looking at your paper. Just look at the screen the whole time and, and try the animal that way. In fact, let's try that. Which one should we do that we don't look at the screen? This will be the last one. Okay, this one, I'm not going to look at the paper. not looking at the paper. I'm looking up at the screen the whole time. <laughs> you, you stop. You stop. You me. Well, keep going. Oh. I don't even know where my line was. Can I start back at my line? Yeah, that's fine. Try not to pick up your line though, guys. Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> That's not bad. It looks like it a, looks better it than looks mine. Like a, it looks like a bird bear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you have fun with these. Um, thanks, Maria, for your. They're help. really fun, but also really, really um. They're hard. creative. <laughs> They're hard to do to try to capture the essence of the animal in just one line. It's not an easy thing to do, so that's why we're practicing. So I hope you have fun. Just practice. Make a bunch of them. And then um, take a picture and upload them for me onto our Teams page. Okay, the last thing that we're going to do is sign our little pictures, just like Picasso would have signed them. We're going to sign it with our marker down here in the bottom right hand corner. I'm just, he used his last name. You can use your last name if you want, or just your first name, whichever one you want to use. I'm just going, I might use my last name. Like Picasso. There you go. Nice job, Maria.